This year I had the opportunity to go to the 72nd Cannes Film Festival to see the films in competition for the coveted prize, The Palm Door. I was there only for a couple of days which wasn't enough time to see every single film, but hey, at least I was able to attend the biggest film festival in the world and meet some cool people. I wanted to share my thoughts and first impressions on some of the films I did get a chance to see before they are released into the world. Parasite, the newest film by the Korean filmmaker Bong Joon-ho, won this year's top prize, The Palm Door, at the 72nd Cannes Film Festival. I almost missed the screening of this film, but luckily my Cannes roommate got in line and saved me a spot. Thank God for that, because otherwise I would miss my favorite film at this year's festival. Where to start? I had no idea what kind of film Parasite was going to be. I saw most of his films and I liked pretty much every single one, Memories of Murder and Mother being standouts for me. He isn't someone who pigeonholes himself into doing only one type of film. Each new Bong Joon-ho film is its own thing, but they still share a common thread of thought-provoking drama and biting comedy. In Parasite, all of that culminates in a soaring and unforgettable cinematic experience which is funny as much as it is dramatic. When I first saw the poster for the film, it kind of reminded me of Dogtooth by Yorgos Lantimos. It looked like some kind of an art film rather than a comedy, but it turned out great because I went into the theater totally clueless. Parasite's story follows a poor family living in a very dilapidated basement-like apartment in Seoul, Korea. What Bong does well is he doesn't make a sappy introduction to the family, instead he throws us into their everyday humorous and at times very relatable life. He exposes us to their characters first, the zany brother, strong-minded younger sister, goofy father and the sturdy mother are all doing their best to keep the little roof over their head that they have. First opportunity comes to the son after his friend offers him a job tutoring English to a girl he likes. She comes from a wealthy family and they have full trust in him when it comes to him recommending a tutor. Nervous at first, he accepts and soon finds out that the family in question can be fooled into anything. That opens up more doors for the other family members and I will leave you with that. This film is a roller coaster ride through and through. It's full of twists that you can't expect but ones that feel organic and relevant to the story at the same time. It is shocking intelligent and scary at times and it all flows so well thanks to the marvelous script and brilliant acting. The actors are required to show us a whole gamut of emotions that both endear and revolt. There is a sequence somewhere in the middle of the film which was so tense and so astoundingly crafted that after it was done the whole theater got up and started clapping and cheering with joy. It was one of the most fun times I've ever had at the cinema and the whole time I was watching it I kept thinking how I'm going to recommend this film to everyone I see. Without a doubt this is a film which will be loved by everyone because it has everything a great film requires and just when you think you got a hang of it, it goes in a completely different direction. By the end of the film you understand why Bong waited for so long to present us with the film's main message. He doesn't want to force feed us the message, it comes out of the characters naturally and that's why it hits everyone who watches it in such a powerful way. At 2 hours and 12 minutes, it is one of the longer Bong Joon-ho films, but the pacing of the film is done so well that it never feels like you've been sitting at the cinema for that long. Parasite is an exciting film that deserves all the praise it's getting and is yet to receive and I can't wait to see it again. The last film in competition for the Palme d'Or that I saw was a Chinese film called The Wild Goose Lake. It was a film I heard some pretty good things about and I was looking forward to seeing it and I have to say that it was the worst film I saw in Cannes this year. On a first glance, it seemed pretty great. I liked the opening shot and I loved the cinematography pretty much throughout the whole film. But somehow everything else was unbearable. I saw the film and I can't even remember its plot any of the characters, what they were doing and why they were doing it. I felt like I was staring at a blank wall for two hours waiting for the paint to dry. I feel like I can't even give a proper review because it just didn't stick out in any way shape or form for me. The film is some sort of crime drama about gangsters and police, I guess. <laughs> I never had an experience like this in the cinema, I swear. At one point in the film, I wanted to just walk out because I could not penetrate this film from any standpoint. 
It was a frustrating and dull experience for me which put me in a really bad mood for the rest of the day, so much so that I lost all desire to see any other film that day. After the screening, I heard some people echoing my thoughts about it and I felt better because up to that point I felt like I was the only one in that theater that didn't get it. I don't want to say that you shouldn't see it, I mean definitely give it a chance but I do want to say that it was definitely not my cup of tea. I didn't care for any of the characters, I was bored and I fell asleep a couple of times during the screening. There was nothing exciting, dramatic or thrilling in the film and it was a crime drama, a genre which I personally love. Maybe it's a cultural thing, like maybe it makes more sense to people from that part of the world. It's very hard talking about it in this way because I don't feel like I got the full experience. I would like to see it again, maybe sometime in the future, just to see if maybe the problem that day was with me and not the film itself, but I doubt it. That is all for the films I saw in the competition at Cannes. Next, I will put out a video about two films that screened outside of the competition this year, which I got a chance to see. Thanks for watching.